Okay, so unfortunately when I was doing my first video, I lost Wi-Fi and totally lost everything that I was doing. But this is the natural finish look. I'll give you a run through of everything that I did to achieve this. First and foremost, lotion. This is Dior Hydrolife. Apply that. Then once that dries, I apply Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Then after that, I use Makeup Forever Translucent Powder. This is a little mini one. And I apply that all over the face. It helps kind of close the pores a little bit so when you apply the foundation, it's more of a like a better base for it, pretty much. And after that, I use a Dior Forever foundation. I use this to apply. It's a beauty blender. I got it from Sephora. When you use this, you first have to get it wet. And then you kind of just dab it on all over the face. And for me, obviously you don't want to get foundation on your lips, but in order to get, you know, an even full coverage look, I kind of apply it like on the bottom of my lips and on my eyelids. So after that, I then, again, apply the translucent powder and then concealer. I use Dior Skin Concealer. The, the color is ivory. Super pale. And I use that. I use this MAC brush number 286. So when I apply the concealer, I start from right here in the corner of my eye down to my nose and then I extend it out. And I go from right there into the eye, extend it out, and then just color it in with the concealer. And then again, I do it to that side, cover it in. I do the nose, I do right here do the chin, and then this pimple. <laughs> and after that, you really, really want to make sure, um, there's another brush. Well, you really want to make sure that you totally pat on um, powder on the concealer so it doesn't create any creases, and it has a completely finished, flawless look. And then after that, well, Okay, here it is. After that, I use NARS Laguna for contouring. It's uh, this one. I use. Okay, sorry, my stuff's all scattered. I use like a freaking dollar store blush brush, and I contour. I use this for now. Show. I contour from right here from the hairline. I fluff it out. And then I do up here as well, and along the temples. And then I do it to the side, fluff it up. And then since I'm so pale, to kind of even it out with how much uh, bronzer I'm using, I kind of color the neck too, just so it looks a little bit more even. Then after I use NARS Laguna to define, I use Makeup Forever. I think it's like color 20. And then I use this and I apply it right where, you know, you smile a little bit and you apply it right there. Then for my eyes, I can't really tell, but uh, she's so windy out. I apply it on the eyelid. And I also use a little bit to, again, apply around the face to add some more definition. I, use, I, I love using bronzer on my eyelids, it's just like a natural look. For my lip, I use MAC Nude, and again, like I was saying, when you use the foundation, you kind of, you know, go all around your mouth with it. With this, you use it, you know, you draw it, uh, your lips, you shade it in, and then I just got this new lipstick from MAC. It, that color is called... 
Satin Viva Glam too. And then I apply that. And that's like more of like a matte color, so if you want to add a little bit of shine. There's shine. <laughs> and then eyebrows. This is totally essential for my everyday use. It is MAC Eyebrow Filler. I use this and I lightly feather in any, you know, unevenness and create more of a bold look. So I do that and then I also extend it to create more of, you know, defined look on the side of the, you know, profile of the face. And then I usually use Benefits, the real mascara. I ran out. I didn't have time to get a Benefit. So now today I'm using MAC. Um, it's 3D Dimension Mascara. I apply that, just kind of wiggle it in. I usually use, like, use three coats just to make it more of a bold mascara look. And then for the bottom, I stroke down. So I get every eyelash at the bottom and then I plump up. For my eyeliner that I use now, I have the Naked 2 palette. I use the blackout eyeshadow. And then the brush that comes with it, let's use this. I just follow the line of my eyelid and then I kind of just blend it in a little bit under that. Not too much because you don't want to look like a clown. Um, this is another blush that I got. I put on a little bit today. It looks super duper purple, but it's not. I'll apply a little bit more so you can see how it comes on. See, it does not look purple, but it definitely looks like it would be. I'm just kind of feathered in. Because what you want to do with makeup, you don't want, like, distinct lines. You don't want... Just something that doesn't look blended. You always want to make sure you blend it in smoothly. And how I do that is I kind of just like, I fluff it. And that's what I do with my powder, my eyeshadow, um, concealer. Always fluff the concealer up so it's kind of like a airbrushy look. Um, oh, and then for the eyebrows, sorry, I'm like skipping all over. But, um... I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills gel, and I use that after I color in my eyebrows, just to kind of, I stroke it up, and then I smooth it over at the top, so it creates a uh, more defined, keeps the eyebrow in place. Um, I got this for free. It's Benefit Glow, I don't know, makes you glow, I guess. But I usually, I like to apply that right under my arch. So, it kind of creates more of like the glowing look. <clears throat> I see it. Oh, another favorite lipstick of mine. I love nude lipsticks. This is Burberry Nude. I love this one. That... You know, I'm using Mac thing. So, let's see. That's pretty much the basis for more of a, a natural look. Um, I can do another tutorial later, but hopefully my Wi-Fi doesn't give out. I can go step by step with showing more of a nighttime, bold, sexy-ish look. So, there's that. I hope this helps.